the that's the scariest thing is uh, once you release a special and then you start from scratch. Yes. Oof. Yes. Not this last one, the one I just put out in December. I had uh, pandemic gigs that w- were rescheduled for March and onward, and I put the special out in December. And I quit the tour in December, so I only. But I needed new. I needed a new hour because the special was out, and I only had like two months to come up with a whole hour, which I've never tried doing before. But I watched that um, Beatles thing, the Beatles uh, Get Back. Mm-hmm. Did you watch it? No. It's like eight hours or something. Yeah. It's, who, who produced that? Uh, it's on Apple, uh, Apple TV. I don't know who. Oh, it's Peter Jackson, right? Yeah, Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson. Mm. So he took all the raw footage from the Let It Be recordings and uh and they they look like you're there it's amazing and he just he showed how they developed let it be so you watch them arrive in this in this studio that didn't really work and you watch them and john's a little fucked up and he's with yoko they're not really getting along but they keep sitting down strapping on the guitars and playing and they have a few ideas for songs and in like two weeks they're going to shoot let it be and they just play and then george quits just leaves the Beatles and so they have so they play without him for a while and then he comes back but the thing is they keep they keep in the movie they keep xing out the days and just showing that they showed up for work every fucking day took songs that were just ideas and turned them into some of the greatest fucking Beatles songs then they went on the roof and just played it and it was f- fucking great so that inspired me I thought if I approach it that way like I just must have an hour and two months and I was going to the cellar every night and I was working more on paper and more analyzing the sets and taking notes after a set, saying, here's what worked and here's... And I gave myself these disciplines. Like, once I had 20 really strong minutes, I said, you can't touch it now. You can't do that material anymore. Because mm. you're just going to get stat. You're just going to want to kill and go home. Right. So I'd take bits that were dying or bits that I didn't want to do, and I'd say, that's tonight. You got bad bits and <sighs> new ideas. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> and you go up and you go, oh. That's why you got to stay off Twitter. That's people right. People that come to that show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, oh. You have to be willing to bomb to really write. Yeah. And then those bits got stronger and stronger. That turned into a new 20 of all shit bits that turn into a strong 20. Put that aside. And then oh, I had boy. two 20s. And I kept doing that until I had a loose hour. And then, you know. And then I went on tour all over Europe. And some of those crowds, there's a glass ceiling to how much you're going to kill because they don't all understand English. Oh, wow. And But you keep, it makes you better. And then I go home, go back to the cellar, to, to put the hour aside and work again, new material, new material. And then keep adding it back in. And you know. And what's your writing process like? I mean, that's it. I, I come, I know when I have a thought. <laughs> that's, a, I know when I have a thought. It's <laughs> really funny. I have, I know when I have a thought that it's a bit. Right. I'm like, that's a bit. Right. But I don't write it. I don't think about it. I avoid thinking about it. I just write a key word to remind me to talk about it. I need to do it in front of an audience so that they, because when they're there, I'm like, I really want them to, like, they're the goal. Yeah. So they help me also with their reaction. They help me figure out how to say it. Mm. Instead of imagining in my head, here's what I would say. It's like, right. they're right here. You got to tell them. So I try it in front of them. And get some version. And sometimes if it gets silence, there's some silence that bits get or groans or upset feelings where I go, that's a great bit. I know it is. It's dying, but I'll do it night after night because I know somewhere in that bad air that I created, there's a great that's the, all the bits I've done that are like great bits in my feeling started as they don't want to even hear this. They don't <laughs> even want to hear it. They don't even want to hear the subject. They don't want to hear the joke. The joke dies the first time and i'm like that's going to be one of the great ones the ones that get laughs right away they're great you know thank you but they don't develop as much i don't work as hard on them you know you just depend they're like a fastball got it well, you- <laughs>